The international institutions which were established in the aftermath of the Second World War were based, as we all know, on traditional security analysis. But it's now important to emphasize, as is done by the recent EU report, that the multilateral system is at risk if the international community fails to address the threats associated with climate change. And therefore, I fundamentally believe it is both timely and wise to start examining these new security issues in a systematic way. And I will offer you here this morning the following list of 10 relevant areas based on analysis by experts and scientists, alerting us to the complicated yet important task ahead, to the conflicts which the warming of the planet could create. First, widespread water crisis caused by the drying up of lakes and rivers by the spreading of deserts and the melting of glaciers. And since many of the Earth's biggest rivers run through many countries, the drying up could cause nations to take drastic, even military action, in order to secure their own water supplies. Already, the water systems in the Middle East are under intensive stress. Two-thirds of the Arab world depends on water resources originating outside their borders. And Israel might lose 60% of its water supply this century. China, with a fifth of mankind, only has an access to a very small, some people say only 7% of the global water reserves. Secondly, in all continents, the reduction of arable land will have a severe impact on food security and create an acute crisis for hundreds of millions of people. And as we know, historically, the conflicts over water and land, the basis of agricultural production, have led to wars in Europe and elsewhere. And climate change would introduce gigantic dimensions into these traditional causes of military conflict. Third, increased flooding and prolonged droughts would intensify these developments and make it extremely difficult to deal with them in a comprehensive and systematic way, especially in the view of the fourth item of my list, migration. Migration between states, regions, and even continents could reach a level hitherto unknown. The migrants would be climate refugees trying to escape droughts, hunger, water shortages, and rising sea levels, looking for new and secure homes because they would have been destroyed by either storms or flooding. Almost 2 billion Asians live within 35 miles of the coastline. And a large proportion of them will lose their homes as a result of rising sea levels. And the tsunami tragedy in the Indian Ocean three years ago just gives us uh, an idea of what could happen. The fifth is the urge to enter countries which fare better in the era of climate change. And this urge could grow to such an extent that all the resources and capabilities of those fortunate countries would be threatened to the same degree as if they were faced with a massive military invasion. And furthermore, uh, deep-rooted ethnic and religious tensions could escalate and might lead to radicalization and conflicts that would prove almost impossible to control. Six, fragile and weak states could be in danger of collapsing, and small island states could see all or 
most of their territories disappear. And thus, entire state structures could wither away, leaving the population in what we could call a political no man's land, and entirely reliant on emergency aid from abroad. And similarly, communities within states, communities with special ethnic and historical characteristics might see the land destroyed, causing great strains on the capacity of respective national governments. The consequences could be some form of civil war or other prolonged conflicts. Seven, climate change will also have a dramatic impact on, on our energy systems, on our capacity to generate electricity and harness the power which is the basis of our economic prosperity. Rising sea levels could damage oil and gas reservoirs and, and make some of them inaccessible in different parts of the world. And we only have to call to mind the problems of the Middle East in recent decades and the importance of oil to realize what could be at stake. But eighth is the energy resources in the Arctic, which amount to a quarter of the untapped global stocks. And these are also highly relevant with respect to the new security dimensions created by climate change. The placing of the Russian flag on the ocean bed by a submarine expedition last year was a sign that a new security era had indeed dawned in the Arctic. And the access to the region's uh, energy resources could be a strategic advantage in the 21st century global economy. And the ninth is Related to this, the opening of new sea, new sea routes caused by the melting of the Arctic ice, both the so-called Northern Sea Route and the Bering Sea Route. <clears throat> and those not only shorten the ocean trade routes from Asia to Europe and America in a re revolutionary way, but they also require systematic arrangements and formal agreements and treaties if they are going to be successful <laughs> involving Russia, the United States, Canada, and the Nordic countries. These new sea routes could become as important for global trade in the 21st century as the Suez and the Panama canals were in their times. And as we all know, those canals gave rise to uh, serious tensions and sometimes military conflict. And it is therefore clear that the control over the new sea routes, which climate change will open up in the Arctic, will confirm enormous power and wealth on those countries that find themselves in the key geographical position. The final element on my list here this morning is humanitarian crisis caused by extreme weather events, which will become, unfortunately, more frequent and more dramatic, creating societal and cross-border stresses with the potential for multiple security implications. And when many such crises occur simultaneously, it would severely test the capacity of the existing international institutions. The global demand <clears throat> for relief action could put the Security Council and other UN bodies into a more challenging crisis than they have ever envisioned. These 10 areas of new security concerns caused by climate change, which I have briefly outlined here this morning, support the view expressed at the Bali conference that combating climate change would be the central peace challenge of the 21st century. 